Hi everyone, welcome. Today I'm just going to do a quick pot swap. Um, this is my Echeveria. I think it's Aaron Juez. Um, once again, not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, this been, I, I think I potted this right from the get go uh, as soon as I received, and it's been quite a while. I do believe, I mean, this is one of my more recent purchases, but I do believe that um, it's been sitting here for, I want to say a couple months. Um, my memory could be off, but um, it hasn't really done anything in here. I feel like it definitely rooted. Uh, I feel like, like recently, the last time I watered, it finally responded to the water, but before then it was still looking very... Um, you know, thin, the leaves were looking really thin and, and, um, it just wasn't really responding to the water at all. Now that it finally is, I suppose I could keep it in here, but I just can't help but feel that this pot is just too big for this plant right now. So I'm going to swap it over to this, this smaller one, slightly smaller. Uh, and this is a, a sort of like a cone shaped, um, pot. So I'm going to, do that right now. Let's see how quickly I can do this. Let's get to it. I'm going to go ahead and reuse all the, the, the soil and the rocks because as I mentioned, it hasn't lived here that long. So I feel like I can definitely reuse the soil and the rocks. Um, as I mentioned in, I think one of my previous videos, these uh, rocks, uh, what what are these? These I think are lava rocks or a mixture of some sort of like um, rocks that are recommended for cactuses and succulents um, mix. They can get pretty pricey. So I want to definitely reuse And looks like there's good root growth here. Um, I'm just going to gently, ever so gently, see what's going on under there. Don't want to hurt the roots. It's still a baby plant. And yeah, it looks like it's, uh, it did well. Explains why I finally did respond to the water, but as you can see, it's still fairly wrinkly. Although you're not supposed to really pay attention to the bottom leaves, you should really pay attention to the top, the center, and the leaves are definitely more plump. And it's, as I mentioned, it wasn't really responding to any of the water that I was giving previously, but this is the first time it finally did, and it's as you can see, it definitely has really a lot of good white roots over here. There's some fuzziness down here, further down, but I don't think I don't think that's an issue. Although I have I have seen in um, certain international channels about uh, this potentially being some sort of a uh, pest, when you see this fuzziness but usually when that happens if that is due to some sort of pest then they say that there's also like white powdery residue on the sides of the pot too and I don't see any of that here so I think they're fine okay so let me just grab I'm literally going to use to reuse the same. Although I think I might have to cut this now that I look at it. I will have to cut this. The hole is much smaller than the other one. So a quick trim of the mesh. There we go. Okay, 
I think that's a good size. Just gonna reuse. It's gonna, there's some like root remnants in here. It's a much smaller pot, so I'm just, I'm not even gonna put a lot of the, I'm not gonna put all the rocks in there. I probably don't even need that. <coughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and use all the same rocks. Ooh, maybe I put too much. I don't know. That looks good. Oh, here we go. Gotta remember to center the succulent, which is what I always forget. <laughs> but this is easy enough. A quick repot. Um, didn't want to disturb the roots. Bit of a mess, I know, but that's okay. So, I mean, these rocks, I usually... Uh, at least I try. I try to reuse them because, as I mentioned, it does get pricey. And I feel like I buy, I try to buy the big bags um, because they have a tendency to be a little bit um, more economical, but they do go pretty fast. And I feel bad about throwing out um, this in the garbage when, when they're you know, when I do switch pots or when I transfer it to a bigger size and whatnot, um, these pebbles and rocks, lava rocks, sand, whatever it may be, I do feel like it's such a way to throw them out. So I try my best to reuse what I can. And then I also have gone as far as to wash them, dry them under the sand, uh, sand, under the sun to and reuse them. It's a lot of work, and I do it when I can, when I have the time. Um, some old roots over there. <laughs> um, yeah. So. I think it's, if I could, I reuse, wash, and I make sure that, you know, I do spray some insecticide on it just to make sure that, you know, I don't want any of that to, in case there's any kind of remnants of bugs or pests, we don't want to transfer that. So I do a good wash and then dry it in the sun. That way, minimize any kind of contamination. Okay, here we go. It is done. A quick. Hot swap. Did not really touch the roots, so hopefully it will adjust well in this new pot. Um, it is still a good size. There's a good amount of space around the um, plant right now, so I think it'll be fine. Um, we'll look out for any uh, dropping of the bottom leaves. Hopefully it won't do that because I didn't really touch the roots, but we'll see. I'll you guys post it. Thanks for watching. Bye now.